Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Little Texas Blues there. Welcome back to 7 till the hour. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Jim Blassingame. Having a great visit with our, our friend Tori Johnson. Tori is the author of Spark and Hustle. She is uh, the CEO of Women for Hire and uh, founder also of that organization, Spark and Hustle. Uh, Tori, tell us about the business. Tell us about the about the, the tour that you're doing right now and how it's benefiting. It's, it's really designed for women startups, isn't it? Um, it is. Um, it's we're, we, you know, it's a it's a one day program, and um, it's all about sort of two things: um, content and connections. If I had to, if I had to, like nail it, you know, mm-hmm. people come because the content is a hundred percent focused on things you can do right now to grow your business. There's no selling from the stage. You're never going to hear anyone say, I can tell you three things, but if you want to know the five important ones, you've got to pay right. me $700 in the back of the room. Like, right. There's none of that. This is like not a typical type of an event. Mm-hmm. You leave with everything you need to know to get moving right now. Um, whether you're stuck or stalled with an existing business or you're just starting from scratch. And then the, the other piece is really the connections, like the people that we bring into each event, um, you know, the hundreds of people who attend each program really become your clients, customers, collaborators, and champions. Like, I feel like the camaraderie is, is unbelievable. We look at our events that we did last year, and we, we track it a year later to see the kind of collaborations and partnerships and, and introductions. And it's not just the kind of thing where someone says, like, oh, hey, you go, girl, I'm rooting for you. It's right. more like... Let me introduce you to my buyer mm-hmm. from Target. Let's see if we can help you get your products on shelves. It's 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 this serious is, business. This is not a tea. This is not a tea party, is it? Exactly. Yeah. Well, good for ah. you. I'm, I'm glad you did that. Well, as you as you help these women, and and by the way, go to spark and spark and hustle dot com right to find out where the tour is and and when they're going to be in a city near you. Yes. Spark and yes. hustle dot com. Spark and hustle dot com. Um, you've got connections there to all of our events, all the links and details to our events. You've got all the details about our new book, Spark and Hustle, that just came out this week. Um, all good stuff, plus just lots of advice and, and you know, in general inspiration. So as you work with these ladies, what is the one thing – Talk. tell us two things. What is it that you think that women have that, that is an advantage for them to be a business owner – and what is the thing that you think is a disadvantage? Um, the biggest disadvantage is a, a discomfort with talking about money, asking for money, asking for the sale, asking for help. Um, you can't hint in business. Like you've got to ask. Right. You've got to ask directly for the sale. You've got to know your numbers. One of my um, one of my friends of my- one of my friends is trying to help women raise money, and she when she went to a number of venture capitalists and says. Why aren't you loaning more money to women? And they said, because women aren't asking us for it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just at, you know, a, 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 whether you're comfortable or not. So I, I tell you, don't wait to be comfortable because you may never be comfortable. Why are women uncom- gotta, why, why are they uncomfortable with that? Cause me, cause because men you know, are not, are they? Our society says, you know, nice girls don't talk about money, which is ah. ridiculous. Um, you know, you you know, you sort of have that like ingrained. Is that actually taught, or is 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 it? Do you, do you you really believe that that's that's something that's ingrained in women that that, that they're taught that by uh, their mothers? I think that I think that um, you know, we're obviously moving away from that. I think yeah. you know, obviously, you know, but but certain generations, yeah, in a big mm-hmm. way, mm-hmm. in a very big way. What are, what are the advantages of, of of a woman business owner? A start for especially um, the, start the ability to do it all, the ability to do it all and not get flustered and wear multiple hats and just sort of make the magic happen. Right. You know, make something from nothing. You, you know, people do it in the kitchen for dinner every night. Like, and, you know, it out. And, you, and you know what's interesting that I've observed in, about women? One of the things that drives women, there's none of this in basically very little of it in men, is guilt. Women do it all because they feel guilty when they don't. And you know what? Yeah. You know what? That's not a bad thing as far as production, but you got to be careful about that for your own self, right? Yes, definitely. Am I, definitely. Do you agree with me about the guilt thing? Yes. 
Men don't feel you know, that. Uh, men don't I, feel guilt. Men, men feel, men feel. You know, we feel like we've got a. It's a pride thing for us. We don't feel guilty. Um, I, I don't want women to feel guilty either. I don't either. I don't either. I want them to feel empowered and excited, right. and you know, I want them to feel amazingly energized that they have the ability to go make it happen. Yeah. For the for the for the right reasons, not because they feel that somebody's expecting them to do something. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, congratulations on your Spark and Hustle tour. Check it out, folks. SparkandHustle.com. dot com. That's also the book. Uh, Tori Johnson, good work out there helping the ladies. And what if a guy wandered in? Will you help him too? Yeah, totally. You know, Men some come to our events all the time. Some guy lost. He just wanders in and doesn't know where he is. But help him out too, okay? Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Tori. Uh-huh. Come back again real Thank soon. Thank you. Take care. Tori Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. She'll be back another day. I will be back, but not today. I'm Jim Blassingame, reminding you that a ship in the harbor is safe, but that's not what ships were made for. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.